So Apple is a stock that almost every single investor out there has some sort of exposure to. Whether that's through mutual funds and ETFs, or maybe you own a company that does business with Apple, or maybe you even own Apple stock directly. But I believe that Apple stock is potentially heading lower. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why that is. I'm going to give you three reasons as to why I've seen this weakness recently and why it might continue into 2019. Oh, and if you guys get a hundred likes on this video in, let's say 24 hours, I will release another video on why I think Apple stock could head to $200 per share in 2019. Now let me get this out of the way right up front. I am a long-term Apple bull, but that does not mean I'm going to blind myself and ignore the short-term issues that the company is facing right now. And as a result is affecting the stock price right now. Anyways, so getting right into it here, the first reason that I have is that Apple will not be reporting their iPhone unit sales anymore. Does this mean that Apple expects their iPhone unit sales to decline? Does this mean that Apple does not want investors focusing on iPhone unit sales numbers going forward? Maybe it's a combination of both. But yes, I do believe that if Apple did report iPhone unit sales numbers in the upcoming quarter, that they would have missed analyst expectations again. So as you can see here from this chart, the sales numbers for the Apple iPhone, the number of units sold may have peaked back in Q1 2017, as even Q1 2018 wasn't able to surpass it. And based on what we've been hearing out there, it doesn't seem like Q1 2019 will be any better. So right here, we have the first reason for the recent stock price dip. So on to our second reason here, which is the recent sales ban in China. Now this is fairly recent, just a few weeks old, but the stock didn't really have too much of an impact to it when this news was announced. Now, as you can see on the chart here, the stock did open down on the day, but ended up closing the day at session highs and actually closed higher than the previous trading day before the news became public. And I believe that the reason that it rebounded like this was because that this was kind of an overblown story. And that's because this court order for the ban did not apply to the most recent units of iPhones. So as you can see here, Apple actually says or claims that the ban only applies to older operating systems and that their newest models of iPhones run a newer operating system so therefore, Apple has continued to sell these iPhones. So I think that investors came to a quick realization here that this was kind of an overblown story. The media is trying to project it a certain way and they took advantage of the stock price dip and they bought it back up, closing the day in the green. So is this a long term issue that Apple should be concerned about? And as a result, as a potential investor in Apple, should you be concerned about this? In my opinion, I don't think so, because these lawsuits seem to be primarily focused around software. And as you may know, software can easily be changed or fixed with an update. So say, for example, Qualcomm actually does get their court approval for the newest iPhone sale ban. That way, Apple cannot legally sell their newest iPhones in China. Well, all really Apple has to do is push out an update to these iPhones, get around that infringement, and then they can start selling those iPhones again. But nonetheless, these headlines are causing a lot of issues in the stock. It is scaring away a lot of retail investors who don't bother to click on that article and actually read the content of it. They just read the headlines and they go and sell the stock. So this, although it didn't affect the stock price that much on the day it was announced, has kind of been looming around the stock and the company for quite a bit. And as a result, has been causing more selling pressure in the stock recently. Now, the third reason is our favorite, which is, of course, tariff fears. 2018 has been the year of tariffs, and unless things change, 2019 could also be a very similar year, if not worse. But up until now, Apple has been pretty much exempt from these tariffs between the US and China. However, recent threats do make it a bit more likely now that Apple's products, including the iPhone, may get hit with tariffs in 2019. So as you can see here from an interview with Donald Trump in November, he explicitly addressed Apple and the iPhones and the stock was hit after hours that day, but not by that much. So I think that investors are not 100% convinced that these tariffs will actually get imposed on the iPhones and other Apple products. And I think that if investors were convinced, the stock price would already be much lower than it is today. Now, of course, the worst thing that could possibly happen with this situation is that in 2019, there isn't any resolution between the US and China and Apple does get hit with some tariffs, which in turn will affect their revenue, which will turn with affect their profits and number of sales. And as a result will affect the stock price in a negative way. So here we have the third and final reason why I believe that Apple stock has been hit and is down in recent trading weeks. So these are kind of reasons all jumbled up together, why there's so much negative sentiment out there and why I believe that Apple is potentially heading to $150 per share stock price. 
when there's a lot of negativity around a particular stock, no matter how beloved that brand is, no matter how beloved that stock has been in the past, they typically do get hit in the short term. A perfect example of this was one of the beloved FANG stocks, Facebook, which did get hit earlier in 2018, even though they have zero dollars in debt, even though they are continuing to make profits quarter after quarter, their stock price is continuing to hit 52 week lows week after week. No company is ever immune to a sell off. And if the media pushes the stories hard enough and gets it to as many eyes as possible, there's a lot of fear that's thrown out there. And as a result, stocks do get hit in the short term because of this. Now remember the like challenge for this video. If you guys get 100 likes in 24 hours, I will release a video on reasons why Apple stock could hit $200 per share. In other words, I will come out with a bullish case on Apple stock. Either way guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.